Scientists at the National Centers for Disease Control in Atlanta today released the results of a study which shows that the lifestyle of some male homosexuals has triggered an epidemic of a rare form of cancer. The scientists say they are dealing with some new, deadly, sexually transmitted disease. <laughs> perception early on was that it was a disease that was only affecting gay white men, which was completely and totally inaccurate. Women were dying faster. Women were sick and still being ostracized and isolated without the benefit of women-specific resources and support. There was a saying kind of in the early days of the epidemic, women don't get AIDS, we just die from it. That perception continues to be true. The people who could afford drugs were getting them from Europe and from the US, and it was just ridiculously expensive. I think because the impact of how this epidemic has hit certain particular groups that are considered um, Do you call it racism? Outcasts, racism, classism, sexism, you name it, any of the isms that you could think of. Mon expérience est partie pour dire de femmes. Je me suis battue parce que ma révolte a été la révolte du maire. Change your definition, murder by omission. Change your definition, murder by omission. Well, the average person who goes to church believes that they're exempt from HIV. They think they can pray it away. And I am a living testimony that prayer doesn't stop you from becoming infected. One, two, three, four, five. We are fighting for our lives. Six, seven, In this country, we're almost 30% of this epidemic. Worldwide, we're 50% of the epidemic. Maybe a little more. Yet, what you hear about women is almost zero. For everything that the men have done to forge the fight on this epidemic, to open the door, it will be the women who close the door on this epidemic. I am not confused about that at all.